Hello my friends, it's good to see you again. I have a story for you today called Nora's Stars by Satomi Ichikawa. Stars. There's Nora. One summer, not one summer, Nora and her dog Kiki, her doll Maggie, and Teddy, the stuffed bear, came to visit Nora's grandmother, who lived in a place where the sun seemed to always be shining and where the scent of sweet fruits and green trees was always in the air. Even grandmother's house was the color of the sun. Look, Kiki, Nora said as she unlatched the gate, grandmother's house nearly touches the sky. We're here, she called to her grandmother as she and Kiki ran up the long stairs. There was much to discover. See these hibiscus flowers, grandmother said to Nora. They open when the sun rises and close with the sunset. My turtle is always awake to see the flowers open, Grandmother smiled. If you want to see them open, you have to get up early, too. Kiki was satisfied just to see the turtle. Do you see the turtle? Let's see. The turtle is right there. Nora loved plums. If you want plums, just shake the tree, Grandmother told her. She shook the plum tree and plums fell all around Nora. Maggie and Teddy pretended they didn't notice. That night, Nora went to bed early. <clears throat> In the morning, she and her friends would have plum jam near the hibiscus flower. Perhaps they would see the turtle. Good night, grandmother, she called. Nora had just climbed into a bed with Maggie and Teddy when she heard a strange noise. Kiki heard it too, but Grandmother was downstairs. Who was making the noise in the room? Nora sat up. In the corner, there was a trunk full of toys that had been in Grandmother's house a long time. Now the toys were beginning to jump out of the trunk. Oh, said Nora. Maggie and Teddy could not believe their eyes. Will you play with me? Nora asked the toys. There they are in the trunk. And here they are, jumping out. Let's play outside. It's hot inside. A brown bear said. It opened the door and the toy dolls and animals ran out to the balcony. Nora and her friends did too. Look at the stars, she said. They look so pretty and they are so close. I would love to have those stars. But that is easy, said a dancing doll and all the toys flew up into the sky to get the stars for Nora. There's a dancing doll, and there they are, all flying up. When they had gathered all of the stars in the sky, the toys decorated the bed cover for her. Now you are Princess Nora, a clown said to her. A star princess. Kiki nearly got lost in her cape. Do you see Kiki? Mm -hmm. 
Suddenly there was a knock at the door. Nora quickly put the stars into the trunk and climbed into bed. Don't move, she whispered to the toys. Who's there? Grandmother opened the door and peeked around the corner, but Nora was quietly reading her book. Grandmother smiled and shut the door. After Grandmother left, Nora threw open the lid of the chest and let the stars out. She made a necklace of stars and a crown of stars. She and her toy friends made a train of stars. Nora gathered the stars, rolled in them, danced with them. Stars filled the room. Then the door blew open. Nora wondered why and went outside to see. Kiki went, too. Oh, she said, the sky is so dark now. She felt a drop of water. Is the sky crying, she wondered. She looked up. The sky looked sad without any stars. Inside her room, the toys and Maggie and Teddy were still playing with all the stars in the world. They were having a wonderful time. But Nora was worried. She does look worried, doesn't she? She decided to give the stars back. She gathered them all up in her bed cover and shook them, still twinkling, back into the sky. Then Nora, Teddy, and Maggie went inside and climbed into bed. The toys climbed back into the trunk. Before many minutes had passed, Grandmother's house was sleeping. The trees and the flowers were sleeping. All the world was sleeping under Nora's stars. Nora yawned. That's the way it should be, she murmured, and satisfied, Nora went to sleep, too. Here's a picture on the back. Thanks for joining me again for the story about Nora's stars. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.